Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video, we are going to help you find out the Lewis structure of SO3 molecule. It's a chemical formula for sulfur trioxide and to determine its Lewis structure, we first need to know the total number of valence electrons. So sulfur has six valence electrons and even oxygen has six valence electrons. But as we have three oxygen atoms over here, we are going to multiply this by three and hence we have a total of 24 valence electrons for this molecule. Once you know the total number of valence electrons, you can start arranging atoms and electrons to show bonds. So first what we are going to do is we are going to place a sulfur atom in, is in the center and all the oxygen atoms will go uh, around it. So you can place the atoms like this and then place a pair of electrons between each oxygen and sulfur atom to show a bond. That way you will be using up 6 out of 24 valence electrons and you will be left with 18 more valence electrons to balance it off. Start uh, arranging these electrons around oxygen atoms so that they can have complete octets. Doing that you will have this kind of structure in which sulfur will have only 6 valence electrons in its outer shell whereas all the oxygen atoms will have complete octet. So just to make um, this structure look more uh, relevant, I'm going to shift a pair of electrons from this oxygen atom to here because that way even sulfur will have a complete octet and oxygen will have a complete octet. Now um, it already has 8 valence electrons but if you know sulfur can have up to 12 valence electrons in its outer shell and I feel that this might not be the correct structure for SO3 but before jumping on to uh, the conclusions or trying to balance that out we'll first look at the formal charges. So this is the formula that you can use for calculating the formal charges. Um, if you see uh, over here, the oxygen, that if, the oxygen that is forming a double bond with sulfur atom will have zero formal charge. Uh, the other oxygen atoms will have a minus one charge and sulfur atom will have a plus two charge. Now someone might argue that this is correct because minus one, minus one, minus two and plus two, the charges are balanced. But in chemistry, we generally try to go for structure in which formal charges are as close to zero as possible and here sulfur atom having a plus two charge doesn't seem right so to balance it off i am going to shift two pairs of electrons from um, the oxygen atoms because i want to nullify this plus two charge so i am going to take one pair from this oxygen and the other pair from this oxygen doing that now sulfur will have a double bond with all these uh, three oxygen atoms but now if you calculate the formal charges of all these atoms you will see that the formal charges are zero so as i mentioned that sulfur can hold up to 12 valence electrons it now has 12 valence electrons in its outer shell out of which no electron is non-bonding and it has six valence electrons resulting in a zero formal charge and even oxygen atoms have zero formal charge. So this is the lowest structure of SO3 in which sulfur atom is forming three triple bonds with three oxygen atoms. I hope this video helps you to understand the lowest structure of SO3. For more such videos on lowest structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.